Get that back to the lab. <laughs> and run a DNA analysis on the saliva. <laughs> we find the owner of that gum. <laughs> and we find our killer. Cut. Take. By the way. You know we're on TV. Oh, now we're on TV. I was just telling Roman that the, the part of that that disturbed me more than any other was the tongue. Well, that is uh, Roman Danilo doing his best. David Caruso, of course, of CSI. Good. Roman, how are you? I'm doing all right, yes. Uh, yeah, we're going to play okay. a game called uh, Guess What Happened when Fiona watched that clip. Well, I can't. Um, what do you mean, what happened? No, well, I, I was drinking coffee. We were watching that this morning, and the coffee actually came out of my oh, nose. Oh, you did I, a spit take? I no, no, spit take. it actually came out her nose. I spat take out my nose. <laughs> oh. Not sexy. Oh. That's how funny she thought it was, yeah. though. She saw it. Oh, good, went, good. <laughs> Uh, good. I'm glad it's because you thought it was funny and not some yeah. other. And reaction. then I drank the How coffee. Did you oh, Michael. Get your David Caruso down because uh, I mean he is known for his skills, but um, mm -hmm. your your impersonation of him is frightening. Uh, yeah, it's really it's not that hard. It's all in the wig and the squatting and the weird posture <laughs> and the tongue. The, and the squatting. Little, little tongue. Uh, <laughs> it's mainly it's mainly squatting and, and excessive uh, sunglasses work. That's really yeah. that's all it is. It's just over the top. Like it's just crazy over the top, How and I love that? it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, He's a bold hero. Like he's he's like Shatner in a lot of ways. Like yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's a lot call. like Shatner. What? That's a really good call. Yeah, yeah. I'd never thought of it that way. But oh, it's very much like that. It's the same idea. It's the weird pauses when there shouldn't be a pause, and the weird sort of in, uh, emphasis on a word that like and or <laughs> the. I wonder if he's ever credited Shatner or said anything about her. Anyone's ever been brave enough to bring it up? Well, in in, in a lot of ways, the characterizations too are are similar, like Captain Kirk to uh, his. Um, Horatio, because they're they do no wrong. They're heroes to everyone. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they protect the small children. They they fight for crime. They and fight for the, uh, the downtrodden. They never make a mistake, right? So, how do you work uh, Horatio into your show? Well, um, the touring show that we're doing, CSI Your Town, is we're just going around because we want to do a sketch show and just uh, put on a real good sketch show. But uh, the title sketch, that's sort of the through line for our sketches is a crime that could only happen in any particular city. Right. So, so that's it. So, we so find what cities out. have so, you gone so. to and what kind of crimes have we dealt with? Well, we've gone to like Kamloops and we've gone to, uh, we were in Maple Ridge and uh, Coquitlam and So do people pick, la they must do local landmarks all the time and... and well, you th every, it's easy to sort of plug in all the local references because every town has a uh, seedy bar <laughs> right. and a seedy hotel and uh, some personalities that stand out for particular things. So we just oh, sort of pull, nice. you know. That must be fun for you guys on stage to have well, that uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's fun. It's also challenging to remember when you do two cities back to back. It's like, okay, I can't use that. I can't. Uh, Mission Hill and Kamloops. It's yeah. touchy. Yeah, yeah. But it was convenient because we were in uh, Coquitlam and Maple Ridge, and both of them share the one uh, uh, pickup joint bar, I guess, that everybody goes to, which is Roosters, apparently, if you're Roosters. Yeah, I've been to Roosters. So that was easy. We didn't have to change that one. Yeah, it's a good country bar. <laughs> yeah. They have the mechanical bull You've been? there sometimes. Oh, yeah, I've oh, been yeah, to Roosters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we ride the bull there? Uh, did we? <laughs> did we? <laughs> let's, not explain, let's not explain no. that, and I will answer with a mighty yes, Fiona. We you, actually did. You did ride the bull. We uh, did ride the didn't mechanical bull. did you, Roman? With, like, another person. At the same time no. on the mechanical. No, 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 no. Oh, no. well, you made it sound that way. <laughs> well, no, she made it sound that way. I just. Roman, you have some really exciting things happening in your personal life. You got another cat. Mm, yes, very exciting. How's that Thank going? You. Yes, uh, the wife and I decided to get a, a second cat, and um, it's it's interesting. There's a lot of hissing and growling. <laughs> Uh, so the cats didn't automatically. I see. I always assumed when I got a second cat, uh, which I've done once and never again, that they would just kind of get along because they're both cats. They've got a lot in common. Well, uh, knowing our first cat, we knew there'd be trouble. <laughs> but you did it anyway. We did it anyway, and we just were hoping that it'll eventually get along. So what's happening right now? There's a lot of chasing each other, and I'm not sure if that's um, uh, you play know, or uh, anger. Yes, I, I think actually they might be falling in love. <laughs> really? One, is, ma one is male and one is female. They've both been, you know, taken care of, yeah. um, as far as we know. But I have no real way of verifying yeah. that. Well, I don't Canada, know. So I, don't I was know. told that they might been still do it. Here. Yeah. Who, who know. knows? Love now, now Romy, you and I live in the same neighborhood, and I, mm. you are a big runner, and I, you know, I always am used to you running by my house and me going, oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, because you sit inside by the window. I sit inside by the window waiting. <laughs> tea, like, what? Staring at people on the street. <laughs> waiting for Roman. I don't see you running by anymore. Uh, well, it's because I used to, I moved like one block over, so I don't have to go down your street anymore. Well, That's could why. you start for I'll Fiona? I'll swing by if you want. It's not that far. <laughs> Bring you some Only uh, if you take your croissants. shirt off. You wear sure. those nice right. shorts and stuff. No, uh, but we had to talk about your shirt off because you always do something when you do have your shirt off. Sometimes you've done that on our show. <laughs> I always do do something when I have my shirt off. I think most people do. No. They take, they, they take the shirt off. To do something, I swim, mean here. shower. Oh, right. Yes. yes, I have taken my shirt off here. What are you doing here? Um, I don't know. That's a. <laughs> that's some you, sketch. It looks like what Fiona oh. and I did on the mechanical bull. See, I've almost got my shirt off here. I think that's why they're playing that. <laughs> yeah. It's a good scene. That's that's, that's an unfortunate. Yeah, that's a, actually <laughs> the poor actor in that sketch. He didn't know I was going to do that. I surprised him with that. <laughs> it's called the passionate dentist, that sketch. So you can see where that goes. Yeah, he was all... very upset. He was very weirded out. Well, it's really gross. Yeah, it is really gross. Like, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but that's that's. You have a little bit funny. of regret. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually going to say it was pride more than regret. Yeah, probably um, uh, pride. Uh, you've but got a few go things coming up as well. Uh, you're going to be part of the debaters yeah. uh, in the next little while, and I uh, want to hear what you will be debating. Yes, t uh, they're put it on TV now on the CBC. So uh, we're debating. I'm debating against Ellie Harvey, and I'm debating for uh, lowering your expectations. <laughs> so you are for low expectations. Yeah, I'm for low expectations. Tell us and, briefly and what's good about having low expectations. Well, come on, you guys, <laughs> your lives. Have you, <laughs> have you have you met your expectations in your life? Have you have uh, you met every expectation? No, you <laughs> haven't. If you say yes, you're obviously lying. So. I can see the argument for. For, uh, for low expectations? Yeah, yeah it's great. Yeah. Let's come on, let's all lower the bar. How like, long do you get to, to, to uh, uh, create your argument for low expectations? Or do you wait until the last minute? I've been doing minute? it all my life. Are you kidding? I've been <laughs> this is your this. moment. I perfected my low expectations. <laughs> I expect nothing of myself. It's like the dream subject, right? Like yeah. sometimes you just get your strength and, and you're Yes, with it that's that right. Way. My strength is. Uh, hmm, now, when lower. are people going to be able to see the debaters on television? Of course, it's on the radio on CBC, but are they airing the television show yet? I think they'll be starting to air the first uh, batch of them pretty quick. Nice. And you started something that I think, uh, to my mind, would be one of the greatest gigs of all time. Uh, y you were on a cruise ship doing comedy. In, yeah. the, in the where? In the well, we went. I, I went on a couple. I went to um, the Mediterranean, and, uh, and then I went to the Caribbean, and, and going to Panama. In so, a couple are months. you really going to work, or are you going for the holiday? Well, I'm going the one to Panama. I'm going to take my wife, so that's going to be good. Yeah. But the other ones, I just wanted to see what it would be like to work on a cruise ship. So I thought, yeah, just go for like? one week, you do like one it? show. No, it, it, you do I, one show. Yeah, I want show. Uh, it's, but it sounds wonderful, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's dreamy. But it's, it's like a wonderful, beautiful, magnificent prison is what it's like. Because <laughs> you're trapped and you know, like, you're in your quarters or whatever and you go out. And, do you, you do know, your show at the beginning buffet. of the cruise or at the end? I did one at the beginning and one at the is end. Is it tough being the funny guy throughout the cruise? Well, I was going to say, expect? if you do it at the beginning, you're like. Well, you just hope if you do it at the beginning, it goes well. Because then if it doesn't go well, that could be a lot. People shun you. Yeah. Really then you're painful. literally in your cabin the entire time. It's a weird life being on the cruise ships for sure. I mean, I just airdrop in and, and get out. Airdrop. Yeah, literally. They drop me on the ship and then they, and then go oh, on the be rock Roman wall Danilo. and I climb down. Here Roman, comes thank you so much. Comedian. If you want to check out uh, Roman's website, you can find out the shows that are coming up. He will be in your town doing the CSI thing. Sorry, and Burnaby are coming up next, and then a big weekend in the Okanagan where he will airdrop in. That's right. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Roman. Thank Thanks, you for guys. airdropping. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate it.